Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and I know a lot of you have been asking for a multi-product review system tutorial in Wix. Now I have been in the process of developing something that is very complex. However, I just never could get it perfect and I wasn't ever truly happy with it. However, Wix just released their own app that we can now install on our e-commerce websites. So in today's video, I'm going to install this app and show you around. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we have the brand new shop page in Wix. However, if we click on the shop element, you'll now notice that we have this little plugins option. And right now the only plugin is this Wix reviews rating summary. So let's go ahead and add this to our website. But now it will take you to the product page and you will notice two things. Firstly, you will see the rating summary right underneath the product name, which is fantastic. But then if we scroll down, we will now have these reviews here and it's actually really, really cool. So what we can do first is go into the settings and under layout, we have different things we can choose from. Firstly, we can have a list, which is what we're currently seeing here. We can do large cards, and I actually think this one looks really clean. Or we can do small cards, which also looks pretty clean as well. For design, you get the typical design things like fonts and colors and borders and stuff like that, all in this design area. And then in display, you can actually show filters, show sorting. You can choose the default sorting. So typically I might just do highest rated, right? Cause you're trying to sell it. So you want to do that one, but you can also choose most helpful or newest. Underneath that, you can show the publish date of the review if you want to. And then you can also change how many reviews are listed on each page. If you have more reviews, than you have for the page, you'll see a next and previous button down below. Now, another thing that we can do is go ahead and press manage reviews. And this is gonna open up the dashboard and you'll see over here, we also have reviews. So any reviews that you get will come into this section right here. And then you'll also see pending and rejected reviews as well. We'll get to that in just a couple minutes because the next thing I want to do is just go ahead and publish the website. And if I go ahead and click on a product, you'll notice that currently we don't have any reviews here yet. So let's just go ahead and leave a review real quick. I'll say Ryan, I'll put in a fake email. We'll give it a one star rating, terrible product. I don't even, like this so i don't know why i bought it and then they can even add images if they want and they can publish it now the one thing i don't like about this app and the reason i never actually made a video on this because i wanted this to be perfect is that there's no verification process for example i'm not even signed in and there's no proof that i ever even bought the product so anyone can come to your website and leave a bad review and Potentially some spammers can either even come in and just lower your review system and maybe even post a link to their product. So because of that, that's the only thing I really do not like about this app. However, like we did before, we can easily just go to manage reviews and open up the dashboard. And right here, you will see the terrible product. So if you do get spam, what you can do is select it and reject it. So that way, this will no longer be shown on the website. However, to prevent people from just spamming low stars, there is a helpful feature here in the settings. So what we can do is go into settings. We can go and edit the moderation. So for images and videos, if we enable this, it'll kind of moderate and make sure that the images and videos are hopefully not inappropriate. For ratings, you can set like one, two, and three stars to be like be sent to your pending if something doesn't seem right about it. And then you can enable word filter as well and just put a bunch of words in here that you think would not be appropriate to be shown on your reviews. So if Wix sees anything wrong with any potential reviews, they should automatically go into the pending here 
and then you can manually approve or reject the reviews. Also here in the settings, I want to cover the review form. So like we showed earlier, you can actually allow them to put their name, their email, their rating and all that kind of stuff. But here we can actually choose the title so we can set a character limit. The body, we can also set a character limit. For media, we can allow images and videos, and we can set a maximum number of files as well. And then we can change the text for leave a review and post. The next thing we have is email notifications. So do you want to be notified anytime there is a review posted about one of your products? So you can set this to active if you want. I think by default it's set to inactive. And then if you want to reply to people's reviews, you can change your name there. So maybe I can say Ryan customer service rep. And now anytime I reply to anyone, even if it's not even me, it should be under this name. And then you can enable helpful votes. So if we come back over to our page here, people can say, was this helpful? They can check it. Yes, if they would like. Now, if you are the store owner, you can easily come over here and press show full review and you can even reply to the review. So we can just say, sorry for, sorry you had a bad experience with our shop. We have issued a full refund. And then we can go ahead and publish it. Once you reply, you can go ahead and press view live and you can see this terrible review and you'll be able to see, sorry, you had a bad experience. We have issued a full refund. And I forgot to press save on my name over here. So it doesn't say Ryan customer service rep, but you kind of get the general idea. I will say that this app is pretty cool, but I do wish for a verification process of some sort, even if it's just a setting that we can toggle on that will ensure that not only members are signed in, but have also bought the product before they can leave a review. I do like how they have the kind of moderation for the reviews themselves. However, you can get a lot of spam and it can be quite tiresome to manually check a bunch of spam reviews over and over and over. So I do think it would be great to at least have a setting that we can toggle on to have them verify that they're, they have an account on your website and they've actually purchased the product. And it might even be really cool if there is a members page for the orders, they can leave a review, edit the review, or delete the review from that page as well. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Editor X content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.